Hi, this is Brittany Castro and welcome to another episode of Financially Wise Living. I'm excited to have our guest here again, Danielle Cuccio of Cuccio Somatology. Yay. And today I thought we'd talk about ways we can all just live more healthy lifestyles. Yeah, right? For sure. I feel like we're all very busy. A lot of the clients I work with are busy. Yes. Um, you know, goal-oriented, totally. successful entrepreneurs, professionals, and you know, I think it's really important to take care of ourselves on all different levels. Totally. I think that there's a trend that busy means successful. Oh, yes, and I hate like, that. I'm so busy, and it's, it's, I mean, I even catch myself doing it sometimes. Yeah. And you know what, but that's not really a great thing, you know, that doesn't, that usually means you're like unhappy, yeah. you know? Or but sleep deprived. Or sleep deprived, yes. exactly. So I think that, you know, Let's just start with my first tip. Okay. Let's go right tip into it. Tip number one. Yeah. <laughs> tip number one. Um, let's find time for ourselves. So yes, we're all busy, but a lot of the times we're spending so much time on Facebook or on our phones, on Instagram, and sometimes it's not even business related, you know? So if you could carve out even just 10 minutes of that time, which you're probably spending a lot more time on there than you think, more than 10 minutes. Yes. Um, yeah, believe it or not. Um, if you could take 10 minutes a day doing something that makes you happy or makes you relax, um, that could even be watching TV if you want. You know, one of my favorite things is having lunch and eats like a 10 minute lunch, but I come home in between clients and I sit on my couch and have lunch and watch TV usually. And it's 10 minutes and I'm not even like watching a whole show, but it's just, it's my way of kind of relaxing. Mm -hmm. um, obviously yoga is a great practice even if you have 10 minutes to just stretch, you know, roll out your mat. That's a good way of saying, okay, I love this that. is my time yeah. on my mat. Put the phone away, put the computer away um, and just relax on your mat even if you just want to lay on your back or sit quietly and you know, meditation has become something that's not so woo-woo and spiritual at all. You know, you see top CEOs of companies closing their door at lunchtime and just sitting on the ground or whatever just to relax, breathe. Mm -hmm. um, Such a great tip. And yeah. I feel like all of these are just so powerful. I mean, every morning I meditate, I take time to eat Amazing. breakfast, I, Good. you know, walk my dog. Yes. And yeah. I still have a very full schedule, but yeah. you know, there's time if you really, make it important. And it makes mm -hmm. a difference. It makes such a huge difference. I mean, I literally see the effects if I don't do it exactly. and it's not worth it to it's me. It's not worth it. And mm -hmm. it's 10 minutes. You it's probably take minutes. your dog for a walk in the morning for 10 minutes. Yeah, like, it's not a big it deal. It really is not a big deal. Yeah. And it makes a huge difference in your entire day. I love that. Great yeah. tip. Yeah. All right. Any All right. others? Yes. Okay. So my second tip is balance. And that love seems it. a little cliche coming from a yoga instructor. But, uh, <laughs> but you said it, hear not me. me out. Okay, hear okay, me okay. out. Okay. Exactly. Um, basically, you know, so I used to be an esthetician okay. and my skincare clients would come to me and they wanted a quick fix and it was so frustrating. They'd lay on the table and they'd be like, fix my skin. And I'm like, okay, but let's talk first. Like, yeah. let's talk about what do you eat? You know, yeah. um, do you drink, you know, enough water every day? Are you sleeping? Like, you know, they're seven to eight hours a day or whatever. So I... They would, honestly would not want to talk about anything. They're like, yeah, well, you know, I eat really healthy, but I don't sleep. You know, I, I'm really busy, so I only sleep, you know, four hours, five hours oh on God. average a night or, you know, and they would think that they're doing everything very well. And then it turns out that their life was all, you know, out of balance. And so I think that living a healthy life, it's not about being so restricted and it's not about, um, you know, eating no carbs, no sugar. It's about finding that balance. So you can have ice cream once Yay. a week if you want. <laughs> Yay! Um, I'm totally guilty. Um, you know, if you can't make it to your mat or make it to a workout one day, that's fine. Work out four to five times a week, you know. Mm -hmm. if one week it's three times, that's fine, you know. Mm -hmm. So it's really finding a balance between everything. If you're working, you know, 10 hours, you better find a balance and find some time mm -hmm. for relaxation too. I mean, and it's so key to long-term success and just yeah. health longevity. And you totally. know, one of the things I always tell people, it's like being a financially wise woman is about living a healthy, holistic life. Yes. And 
There's so many things we can do now to take care of ourselves that actually help our finances in the long run. Totally. And finding balance and just making sure you don't burn out or you don't you know, put your health to the side totally. is powerful because one of the biggest expenses in retirement mm -hmm. is healthcare. Yeah. Healthcare yeah. costs. So, totally. Yeah, so I love this. Invest in, it doesn't have to be expensive. You can mm -hmm. find, you know, a $10 yoga class to hop into or come to a park yeah. and practice by yourself, stretch, spend a little time with yourself. So um, great. It really makes a difference. and. I don't know. It's just, it's really important. It's Good. its an investment that's yeah. not expensive, but it, it will make a really big difference and you'll probably live longer too. So love that. <laughs> yes. All right. And then last tip for everyone. Yes. Last tip. I know I mentioned this in my last tip a little bit, but um, sleep. Sleep is something that we, as I said, being busy is like the cool new thing to do. And some people, some of my clients will stay up until like two in the morning. You're like, well, I really had this project to do. I'm like, what good are you going to be the next day in your meeting if you're yeah. like totally out of it? And you know, when we sleep, um, we're really rejuvenating our bodies. So it's not just great for the skin, you know, that's coming from my esthet esthetician background. Um, it's also we're renewing cells, you know, our brain will function so much better the next day. Um, we can think clearly. So taking that into money, you know, you can think, well, I'll make better decisions, you yeah, know? totally if, make better. Decisions. So that's huge. I yeah. mean, if you can take a second and think before you purchase something or, you know what I mean, not making like really rash decisions, um, I think sleep has a huge part to do with that. So. I, I think that's such a great way to uh, end it. And, you know, Ariana Huffington said it best, sleep your way to your, the top. There you go. I love it. <laughs> literally sleep. Yeah, um, literally. Especially as women, it's really important to find that rest because we do so much in life exactly. and we like to multitask and use our brain at a high capacity every day and totally. sleeping is key. Even more of a reason to do it. Yeah. Awesome, totally. Danielle. Well, thank you so much thank for you. these tips. If you want to find out more about Danielle and her amazing life and <laughs> all these extra tips she shares and check her out, all the links are below and we'll see you next week for another episode of Financially Wise Living. Bye. <laughs>